Yeah. How's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. And that's right, your boy is back. Judgy Joey is back to judge your just absolutely horrible taste in anime. <laughs> so if you don't know, let me bring you up to speed. A couple of months ago, I decided to ask you guys over on Twitter to send me your My Anime List account. Now, what is a My Anime List account in case you started watching anime and November of 2019. My anime list is a website where, as the name suggests, you create your anime list. You create a list to basically catalog all of the anime that you have watched, you are yet to watch, you are currently watching, you have dropped previously. And the great thing about my anime list is that not only does everyone I know in the anime community basically have one, but you can also give a score of the anime that you have seen. It's just your general scaling score, starting from 1 going all the way to 10, 1 being absolutely terrible, 10 being absolutely amazing. And you guys really enjoyed that last video, even though the whole concept was me just basically telling how much your taste in anime is absolutely trash. Apparently my audience is just full of masochists. But the sadist side of me is ready to jump back in because we are doing it once again. I asked you guys over on Twitter again to send me your my anime list so I can give you my honest opinions on your taste in anime. And we're gonna get right into this shit. Now I have to preface this again in case you were born in a household that doesn't know the word sarcasm, but whatever I say in this video, whatever I say about a particular person's taste in anime is clearly just a joke. At the end of the day, I don't really care if you give my least favorite anime a 10 and my favorite anime a 1 because that's what makes the anime community the anime community, bruv. We all love our different stuff, we all hate our different stuff, and that's what makes this fun and interesting. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the judging. Don't fire me over how basic I am. My boy, my boy Moon on TV. If you guys don't know, all of my videos basically, or most of my videos, including this one, is edited by my boy Moonan Thomas. He's also a fantastic YouTuber, so go check him out. Links to his channel down in the description. But I don't think I've ever seen your anime list before. And being my editor, I expect you to have just the most perfect of anime tastes. So prepare your butt, Thomas. Okay, so just quickly going through this list from what I can immediately see is that not only is there a good selection of shows and a large number of them, but just even looking over at the uh, scores that you've given, it's pretty varied, which is good because a lot of uh, lists in my previous videos were really quick to giving tens to every single anime that they've apparently seen. So let's sort these lists out by score and see what you gave. Okay, so Thomas only has a few tens. Akira, Death Note, Steins Gate, Sakamichi no Apollon, and Mob Psycho 100, and currently watching Mob Psycho 100 too. That's really interesting you gave Sakamichi no Apollon a 10, because not only is that a show that I've very rarely heard anybody actually watching from start to finish, but is also just a show I don't usually see being thrown into a 10. Now, personally, I watched Sakamichi no Apollon as well, and I thought it was really good. I wouldn't exactly give it a 10 per se, but you know what? I, I, uh, I, I appreciate you giving this a 10 and giving it some light. And even your nines are, are pretty well-rounded. Any NGE, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, not Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Full Metal Alchemist. Not sure if I can agree on that one, but okay. You gave Soul Eater a 9 out of 10? Okay. <laughs> I have a strong love-hate relationship with Soul Eater. Like, I understand if you gave this uh, score to Soul Eater, if you, you know, watched it when Soul Eater first came out. And, and you're roughly around my age, so when Soul Eater came out, you're probably in your, like, early teens. And trust me, every anime you watch in your early teens is, like, god tier for some reason. But I don't know, man. I, I There's just something about Soul Eater now, if I went back and rewatched it, that is just... So goddamn generic. Like, I finished Soul Eater. I, I watched all of it when it was still airing, and uh, even then, back then, I, I wouldn't have given this a 9. Maybe a an 8 or a 7. You probably heard this a million times, but when I first heard Maka's voice in the anime, I, I was immediately like, <laughs> But I do appreciate you giving Saiki Kusono Sainan a 9. That show deserves so much more attention. It's just really hilarious visual and dialogue heavy comedy and it's it's very much right in my alley when it comes to comedy and apparently is right in your alley as well. Alright, what did you give a uh, low score? Ah, uh, okay. You gave uh, Mars of Destruction, Skelter Heaven, and Utsumusume Sayori a 1, which is like, it's like saying that The Room is a bad movie, you know, like, that, that's something that everybody can agree on. But you gave Kiss Sis a 3, bro? I don't know, man, that's, that's like, 
my guilty pleasure anime. <laughs> I hate to love it, but I just love it. I don't know why. Uh, and you also gave Euphoria 3 out of 10. I mean, if you watched my Fiverr video, which I'm sure you did because you edited it, then you would know how much of a masterpiece that Henty. is, my boy. Overall, though, Thomas, you pass. So, good job on the videos and your anime taste. <laughs> All right, let's check out my boy Dakota Broski, also another fellow Anatuber and good friend of mine. I'll leave the link to his channel down in the description below. But BZ's on me, baby. Oh, uh, we'll see about that, motherfucker. Okay, first of all, let's look at your tens. You only have four, which is good. I I, I said in my previous uh, rating your horrible anime taste video that it's good to have a small amount of tens because giving something a ten, which is essentially a perfect score, like there is nothing wrong with this anime. I think you should only leave that kind of score to a few anime series so just from that you get points in my book but what did you give a 10 cowboy bebop okay that's pretty understandable bakimonogatari my man the first season i don't exactly agree with that necessarily i mean it was a good show chuni was a good show i did prefer i feel the second season just because it really dug more into Dika's personality, per se. It, it definitely brought a lot more of a drama element to the entire narrative, whereas the first season was a little more like, hey, look at this cute Chuni girl doing these cute things. Pretty crazy. And Agretzko. You know what? I'm not mad about that. I would give Agretzko like a, a solid nine, at least. I actually did prefer the second season of Agretzko personally, just because of uh, Donkey Elon Musk. What a dreamboat. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> we, we have a few problems with this list, going down to the nine out of tens. I understand Spice and Wolf. I understand Steins Gate. I even understand Anohana. What's this shit? Can't explain this shit, Dakota? You do know that just because Anohana and Anonatsu both start with Ano, it's not... It, it's not the same quality of shows, right? Okay, look, here's the thing. Anonatsu de Matteru was very much in the same realm as Anohana in terms of, like, its narrative. Because it is based in, like, you know, the middle of nowhere Japan during the summer, where there's a lot of, like, romantic relationships happening, especially between childhood friends. And I do admit that the character designs and even just the characters themselves were very entertaining. As it, in the same way as Anohana, it was, it was very charming and almost down-to-earth. But the one thing that I just couldn't really enjoy at the end of watching Anonatsu de Matteru is just the conclusion to the show. Alright, what did you rate in the lowest year? Berserk. <laughs> you gave Berserk a 1. <laughs> I ain't mad about that, honestly. And I'm glad at least that somebody agrees with me in the fact that Watamote is like a 5, maximum 5. I think I gave it like a 3 or 4 because I, I don't know, I don't understand how people can like Watamote. It is the most awkward ass show that I have ever fucking seen. But yeah, other than that, Dakota, you get you get a you get a pass on my book. You you have pretty decent taste. My anime list is pretty much just an almost complete list of everything that came out in 2015. Well 2015 was a pretty pretty good year for anime from what I remember, so this is gonna be interesting to see. Okay, first of all, props to the the, the customization, the design. That that is sleek as fuck. I love the red and black look of uh, this list. I mean, it's it's really nice. I didn't even know you could, like, make your anime list look this sleek, so good on you. Alright, first of all, though, the moment I can see is you gi you're giving away a lot of 10s. You gi you're giving away 10s like it's candy. And a lot of them, from what I can see as well, are movies. You have Sento uh, Chihiro no Kamikakushi, Tonari no Totoro, you have uh, 5 centimeters per second, which I also agree with. Uh, that That is an, a fantastic uh, Shinkai Makoto film. And you have Koi no Katachi and Kimi no Nawa both as a 10. Now, I thought Kimi no Nawa was just a little bit below Koi no Katachi, but you know what? I'll let it slide. But here's one thing that I really, it really pains me to see is you put Charlotte as a 10. Now, as much as I love my Maeda Jun stuff and as much, much as I love my Key Studio stuff, I can. I can absolutely not agree with this. Because Charlotte was a 10 out of 10. It was really fucking good for like the first couple of episodes. It, the, the premise was interesting, the characters were nice, the way that these relationships were starting to form looked really promising, and then it just had to get really goddamn edgy. And then like the last two or three episodes was the most like clusterfuck of a thing, especially when they brought out the whole time travel aspect. I was just like, man, what the? What the fuck's going on? I do appreciate, though, that you gave 
kiss sis a 9 out of 10. <laughs> this man is a boy of culture, I can see. And obviously you do love your mainstream stuff too, with the fact that I can see Alna Exorcist and Fairy Tale in both a 9 out of 10. And, and, and Sword Art Online, of course. But it also seems that this person is quite well versed in their non-mainstream stuff as well, their underground stuff. I mean, you gave Korewa Zombie Desuka the first season a 9 out of 10. That was a really underrated show in my opinion. I, I don't think Korewa Zombie Desuka, out of all of the light novel adaptations that came out in like the early 2010s, I think Korewa Zombie Desuka was quite underrated. It was really fun. The openings were fucking banger. And the whole thing that they did with Euclid with Hellsythe switching voice actresses every fucking episode for two whole seasons was just... It was so meta and so cool on like an industry standpoint. <laughs> I do find it funny though, as I'm scrolling down to see what you gave a low score, that I'm seeing... I'm seeing a lot of hentai. <laughs> like this, this man ain't afraid to show his cultured side. On my anime list, it seems. God damn, dude! Oh my god, it just doesn't stop. Like, almost every, like, uh, like rank is... There's at least... Oh my god, look at all these! I tip my fedora to a fellow man of culture. Especially a fellow man of culture who is not afraid to show his culture. Okay, so the lowest score, uh, finally, got to the end of the list is Mars of Destruction. Again, that's just... That's just a given. JK Meshi, you gave a three. I heard about this show. I've never seen it though. I'm kind of tempted to if, you've, if you're rating it this low. Ah, and I see uh, you are a fellow human of culture, but you understand the difference between quality culture and trash culture. And I mean, I, I see you've also seen a lot of trash hentai as well. You know what? Everyone's got to experiment. Can't wait to get roasted for my scores on fairy tale. <laughs> Yeah, you're just giving me bait at this point. All right, let's see what you get. That's a lot of tens, first of all. That's a lot of fucking tens. God damn, that's a lot of tens. You got Naruto. Uh, okay. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Okay. Fairy Tale. Okay. Durara. Okay, I can honestly accept. Hanasaku Iroha. That's interesting. You gave that a ten. I mean, Hanasaku Iroha, first of all, was a show that. Not a lot of people watch, even back in the day, but I don't know if I'd give it a 10. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it, but man, something about that show was just slightly missing. You seem to really like your Detective Conan movies from what I've seen. I've, I've already seen like a couple of Detective Conan movies right here, which is, again, pretty rare. Uh, no, I don't really know a whole lot of people who enjoy uh, Detective Conan or Case Close, as the English title is called. Literally one of the stupidest titles anyone has given an anime. But I don't know how to feel about the fact that you gave 53 shows a 10 out of 10. Like, yeah, that's it's very generous of you, first of all. And just some of these, I, I don't know if I can agree with 100%. I mean, uh, you know, obviously the fairy tale, but that's too easy of a bait. I'm not falling for that bait. But even shows like Konoto Tomare, Otakoi Youth, even like Ain no Shoubota and Dr. Stone, like... I mean, they were good shows, but a 10 out of 10? No, definitely not. Okay, let's see what you gave a low score. Oh, you gave the new Pokemon movie a 1 out of 10. <laughs> I actually haven't seen that yet. That's the, I'm pretty sure this is the, uh, the, the remake, the 3D remake of the first Pokemon movie, Mewtwo no Gyakushu, or Pokemon the first movie as it's called in the West. But uh, you gave that a 1. Wow, you gave that a score lower than Hamitsu no Mars. That's, that's cold, bruh. Ooh, but it also hurts to see Mob Psycho 100, ReZero, and Zankyo no Terra, and Steins Gate in a 4 out of 10. <sighs> but you gave SAO a 5? The fuck? No. 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 This man did not give Makia one of the most underrated, most beautiful movies of our modern times a 6 out of 10. No. That's ridiculous! Still pretty new to the anime scene, but I stand by my choices. Hey man, that's all good. New or old, as long as, you know, you can give me uh, your opinions, your honest opinions about a show, that's all I care about. But let's check it out. Okay, first of all, I appreciate the use of an Anohana header. Good choice. And I also appreciate that you only gave two shows a 10 out of 10. Anohana and Koi no Katachi. Obviously, you're into those kinds of very low-key shows. I appreciate that. But you gave Lucky Star, Clan of After Story, Shigatsu Kimi no Uso, Ansatsu Kyoshitsu, Kimi no Nawa, a 9. Okay, okay. You clearly enjoy your 
very uh, drama heavy, human drama heavy romance uh, element. I mean, obviously, excluding Lucky Star in Assassination Classroom. And the lowest score. <laughs> You're just after my heartstrings, aren't you, bro? Actually, you're definitely after my heartstrings because you gave Fireworks a 4 out of 10. I mean, you, you, what are you, a clone of me? <laughs> you gave Root A, Fairy Tale, uh, and, and the old Fairy Tale a 5 out of 10. But you gave All Hearted Idol a 5. That's interesting because All Hearted Idol is definitely within the same elements of human drama and romance. I actually quite enjoyed All Hearted Idol, but maybe uh, the reason you didn't is because compared to the other shows you gave uh, 10s and 9s and 8s, uh, All Hearted Idol is definitely more on the shoujo side of things, so usually the way that shoujo series deal with human drama and romance versus how seinen shows deal with human drama and romance is, is, is quite different. When it comes to shoujo stuff, obviously, because the main demographic is girls, they usually focus more on the female characters, and usually only the female characters, just to get female readers to be like, oh yeah, I empathize with this female character. Whereas with seinen shows, or just straight up romance human drama shows, like Kimi no Suizo Tabetai Seinen Butero, it's told from the perspective of either the male or from a much more neutral perspective. Because I feel that you have more of a chance of guys and girls reading Seinen shows than they do shoujo shows. But I don't know man, even with the small collection that you have gathered up here, you're, um, I can't really disagree heavily with anything on this list. You you obviously have already a pretty good understanding of what makes a good show good, what makes a bad show bad, so. Hey, you know what, man? You may be new to the game, but you're, you're doing pretty well, if you ask me. All my friends bully me for my anime taste, but I just started watching anime a year ago. Well, you're very brave to participate <laughs> with this particular exercise. Let's go. Okay, first of all, clean list. I appreciate it. Okay, let's see what you've given a 10. I mean, right off the bat, I can tell you, you have pretty decent taste because you gave Chayafuru and Chayafuru 2 a 10 out of 10. Now that is a show that, first of all, I don't hear a lot of people watching just by itself because it is a sports anime. I'm using air quotations because it's a, it's it's technically a sports anime because it is a show, for those of you who don't know, Chihaya Furu is all about karuta, which is a, a, a particular like old card game that they play in Japan. And so it is treated as a sport in Japan, but obviously not in the general side of things. But the fact you gave it a 10 out of 10, I can appreciate because again, Chihaya Furu I thought was Really good, but yeah, going back to this list, even your 9 out of 10s are pretty well received. I mean, I, I, I can understand why you gave Kimetsu no Yaiba a 10, because apparently everybody has to in this day of age. But you gave Hyoka a 9. I appreciate that. But then you gave, uh, you gave Erase a 9 as well. I, I don't know if you, we watch the same anime or not. Let's go down to the bottom of your list. What do you have as your lowest? Tokyo Ghoul Re second season and Tokyo Ghoul Re. Not huge fans of it, huh? Okay, I understand that. And even Gridman as a 4? I mean, Gridman it was definitely not as popular in the West as it was in Japan because in Japan, a lot of like hardcore mecha otakus were heavily into uh, Gridman. And I, I, I quite enjoyed it, even though I'm not a huge fan of like mecha and um, tokusatsu and all that kind of stuff. I can appreciate uh, where they were coming from with this. But then you gave Mirutites a 5? What? Well, why? <laughs> Do you, do you have tights fetishes? I mean, if you do, then props to you for being honest about it. <laughs> oh, but bro, what is this? All Summer Gamer? 6 out of 10? No. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Roast my shit taste, daddy. You got it, son. <laughs> this fucking header. <hater. laughs> God damn it. Well, I know what this guy's favorite anime is. <laughs> Shureku. All right, well, first of all, you've only got a couple of 10s, so that's good. Uh, Death Note, Bakano, Steins Gate, and Koino Katachi. I can, I can totally respect those. All of these are pretty freaking good, especially Bakano. My god, Bakano is e easily a 10 out of 10 for me as well. Fucking amazing, and I'm still butthurt about the fact that we never got a season two of that shit. And obviously this boy loves his Monogatari. You got Baki Monogatari, Nisa Monogatari, Monogatari series season two, all the nine out of 10. My man. Let's see what we got at the bottom here. Boku no Pico. <laughs> And Pico, my little summer story. What the fuck? What is this? I've never heard of this before. Is that is that like a like a spin-off of Boku no Pico? 
something I need to check out. And again, this person gave Fireworks a, a 4. I mean, it's still a little bit high for me. I'd give it maybe like a 3 or a 2 because it was just such a missed opportunity. And if you want to know my whole thoughts on the Fireworks movie, I, I made a whole video about it back in the day, so, so go and check that out. There are a lot of shows here, though, that I have never even heard of before. Typhoon no Noruda, never heard of that. Uh, Garasu no Hana to Koasu Sekai. Never heard of that either. Oh, you didn't like Gotobun no Hanayomi that much? You only gave it a 6? I, I give it maybe like a 7 or an 8, because then you got this shit right here that's apparently the same as Gotobun no Hanayomi. And, uh, did you get the two mixed up? Because Domestika no Kanajo is far from a 6. Oh my god, that show was just a... An absolute clusterfuck that should never have been born. Oh, but I do appreciate the fact that you gave Kuzuno Honkai a 7. That's that's commendable. A lot of people, from what I've seen, really did not like Kuzuno Honkai, and it's definitely a, uh, a it's, it's definitely not a fan favorite when it comes to the romance genre, just because of how dark and sinister they decided to take the whole high school romance side of things. But I really enjoy Kuzuno Honkai. I, I personally gave it, like, I think an 8, just because it was just really refreshing that a show that decided to cover the rather unspoken and quite dirty aspect of high school romance, which does exist in the real world. As much as people don't want to admit it, these kinds of high schoolers do exist all over the world. And Kuzuno Honkai did a really good job of, I guess, dissecting and showing that in some pretty raunchy ways. And I definitely do think that, uh, especially compared to shows like Domestic no Kanojo, Kuzuno Honkai did it just so much better and so much less edgier. But yeah, son, um, I, I, I can't really roast you. I, I, I actually do think that your selection here is, is, is pretty damn good. And, and especially, like, like this stole my heart, definitely. Shrek, Shrek-chan just stole, whisked away my heart, because how, how could I roast you when these beautiful eyes are staring right back at you? Beautiful. We both own a similar amount of shinobu figures. I demand a look, thanks. You really- you're really going up against my shinobu collection over here? Or up there? Around here somewhere? We'll see about that. Well, apparently you gave, uh, just as many shows a 10 out of 10 as you do shinobu figurines, because 39 shows is a 10 out of 10? That's a lot. You gave Tsurizuri Children and Yuta Camp a 10 out of 10. I mean, that's like- I don't know, those two shows are really difficult to, I guess, rate. Just because it is quite an inoffensive show, especially with how it is presented. Uh, Yuta Camp is, I mean, again, just your typical uh, slice of life show, but with really cute girls doing cute things, going camping and shit. And to so the children, as, as much as I did like the whole, you know, very lighthearted romance aspect of things, I'm just not a huge fan of Studio Gokumi. I don't know why, just, if, if maybe a different studio do it, I know it's very nitpicky, but if a different studio do, did it, then maybe I'd be more inclined to give it a higher score. But other than that, I see a lot of Monogatari stuff, and obviously, it's an amazing fucking show, so how can I argue with that? And wow, you gave Nagino Askara a 10. That's that's also quite an unpopular opinion, I find. Uh, I feel Nagino Askara was one of those shows that, like, the people who really loved it just absolutely fucking loved it, and the people who hated it were like, nah, bro. Death to PA works. Let's see what you gave a low score. Little Busters! Wow, you gave Little Busters a 2? Bro, that's harsh. And it's interesting because you gave Little Busters Refrain with the second season a 4. And I personally agree that Little Busters Refrain, the second season, was definitely a lot more well constructed than the first Little Busters season because they went with, again, the true ending. This is like the Clanad After Story equivalent of Little Busters. And just as a story, I feel, in Refrain, it just flowed so much better than it did in Little Busters. But still, a 4 and a 2 for Little Busters? That's that's pretty cold, bruh. And we gave Dansai Bunin a Crime Major 4 as well. Man, I'm really sad that, like, I'm... I'm probably a minority when it comes to the people who liked Dansai Bundi. I really fucking enjoyed that show. I, I think I gave it like an 8 or a 9. I don't know if I'd feel the same way if I watched it again. Um, because, again, this is a Studio Gokumi show and just... Uh, something about Studio Gokumi shows, the animation just does not age very well in my opinion. Wow, this boy watched Mashiro Yuta Symphony? I thought I was the only one who watched that. <laughs> I mean, I agree with your score on this. That was definitely the most mediocre Eroge uh, adaptation I've ever seen. But yeah, other than that, you you got a pretty good selection right here. But I can obviously tell that you're definitely more into the uh, the modern look shows and uh, definitely more focused on the romance and drama 
type of shows. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know. You, you gotta love a little bit of edgy, you gotta love a little bit of romance. That's just that's just natural, bro. Other than that, pretty good list. I I, I can't much agree or disagree with any of these. Maybe except Batum or with an eight. That's that's a little bit that's a little bit overhyped in my opinion. But yeah, guys, I think we'll leave it at that. I've I've done I've filled up my roast quota for the day or for the month. I guess I don't know how much more roasting you guys can take, but overall, uh, I tried to be as fair as possible with uh, your guys' selections because again, this is this is just one person's opinion about another person's opinion, right? There's nothing to take serious about this. It's just my two cents. You you are very welcome to throw those two cents right back in my face if you wish. And sorry I couldn't get to as many people as I wanted to. Uh, going through entire lists of anime takes a, a long time and. You know, this is probably something that I could do in like live streams and stuff like that, but for a video that I don't want to go on for like 10 hours, this is probably the most I can do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you'd like to check out the first video that I did where I rated your guys as my anime list, then boom, click the card on the screen right now, or go down to the link in the description below to check it out, give us some love. And hey, if you'd like me to do this a third time, then I don't know, man, maybe give this video a like. Maybe 40,000 likes and we'll do another one, God knows when. But other than that guys, if you'd like to participate in any more of these viewer participation type of videos, because I love doing them and you guys love watching them, then make sure to follow your boy over on Twitter, give your boy a follow, and uh, look forward to the next installment of whatever it is that I do. And as I said in my previous video as well, it isn't fair for me to judge your guys' tastes on anime without putting myself on the line as well, so I've left a link to my my anime list down in the description so feel free to check my list out and roast the fuck out of my selections down in the comments below because man you guys did me a number on the last video and it's only fair because i haven't updated my my anime list in god knows how long and there are a lot of shows that i put on there where i was just very very judgmental about very very cloudy judgmental about those selections and those scores that i gave so feel free to roast your boy if you wish but anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video keep watching anime and i'll see you in the next one like a favorite if you enjoy subscribe for any other banter keep watching anime johnny